Heaven's California what is going on welcome back to a mother fifa 19 ratings reveal video we have had 100 to 81 we have had 80 to 61 and now it is time for 40 to 61 and let's get straight into it today with number 86 or number 60 coming in as sadio mane four star four star high medium right foot five nine 94 pace eight shooting 76 passing at 87 dribbling, Mane does come across as a very nice, small, technically gifted winger, especially with that 70 phys 73 physical as well. And the little paragraph here, the Senegalese winger has exploded onto the scene in recent seasons, impressing for both club and country. His 94 pace, 87 dribbling and 80 shooting ratings were all on display when he scored against Real Madrid in the 2018 UEFA Champions League final. Just had just as they had been all season, as Mane played a key role in Liverpool's devastating attack. 59. We have Ivan Perisic getting, I believe, staying the same rating after his winter upgrade. But his card looks fantastic for an actual left mid, you know. 86 pace, 80 shot, 80 pass, 83 dribbling, 78 physical, 5 star, 4 star, 6 1, medium, medium, right footed. Uh, looks alright to be fair. I've always been a big fan of Perisic on Fever actually. And uh, after recent years of building a solid resume at Inter Milan, Perisic became a household name with his sublime performances for Croatia at the 2018 World Cup. Despite lining up as a left midfielder, Perisic is often all over the pitch, utilising his diverse skill set to create, assist, and score goals. His 86 pace and 83 dribbling ratings grab the headlines. But the combination of those of his 80 shooting and the red passing ratings is what truly elevates him to the top of the game. In at number 80, uh, 85? What the hell am I doing? 58, we have Mr. Raphael Varane gets a plus one upgrade on his card. And oh boy. Oh. Just devastating pace from Varane. Devastating pace, defending and physical. Great work rate, great height, good weak foot. Despite his youth, the French midfielder has earned a starting role for one of the biggest club in Europe and the reigning World Cup champions. His performances for Real Madrid and France have come down to his incredible versatility as a centre-back. Not only does Varane excel as a defender in the traditional sense, he is also quick on his feet, able to support the mid and attack then track back quickly to thwart counter attacks. This card is going to be insane. Mark my words. In at number 57, we have Ciro Immobile. And I was a big fan of Ciro Immobile. Um, I think he started as an 82, then his base card went up to an 85. So he's had a plus two after his winter refresh. Um, you know, as a striker goes, good pace, good shooting, good dribbling, good physical, four star, three star, right footed, high medium, six one. Going to be good in the box and all that. Is getting on a little bit, you know, 28, I think he is. He would be, yeah, 28. Um, after a sensational season in which he put in, put on a scoring masterclass in Serie A last year, Immobile is set to have another brilliant year with Lazio. Even though he's a well rounded forward with a respectable ATC pace and dribbling ratings, Immobile's stature as a pure world class finisher is exemplified by his 87 shooting rating. Coming in at 56, we have Alexis Sanchez, who does take a, what, minus one downgrade, I think? And it is deserved that he has the minus one downgrade and the downgrade in pace we can already see here. 82 pace there. I don't think this card's going to be worth that much. I really don't. I don't think he's anything that special. The pace isn't that special. The shooting for a winger isn't that special. The passing isn't special. The, the, the 77 physical isn't great. The 89 dribbling is going to be fantastic. Uh, obviously, coming up to 30 this year, uh, I think Alexis isn't going to be as meta as someone like Sane, who's lower rated than him. But obviously, he's still going to be at the start of the game very, very hefty. But I think his price will deplete pretty soon. 
Um, and it says, Wally Dre, they say, Wally tends to drift all over the front line for most Arsenal. And the Chile. Hang on. When was this written? Well, he tends to drift all over the front line for both Arsenal and the Chile full national team. What? Okay. Uh, Sanchez in his element. Uh, is in his element when lining up on the left and cutting inside. To create havoc and open up space or take a shot for himself, utilising his respectable 83 shooting rating. 55. Kaladu Koulibaly. Something that people are very confused about Kaladu Koulibaly is that he seems to have lost three inches in the last year. So, we got Vidal, who has lost a leg. And we got Koulibaly, who is clearly... Lost a bit of his torso. Uh, hi, hi, what? But I mean, on a serious note, Queen Valley's card. Oh my goodness, looks absolutely insane. And what's there to say about him? Another young centre back who's stuck, whose stock has soared in the last year. Koulibaly is the kind of defender that even the best forwards see in their nightmares. An absolute rock. That shouldn't be right. It should be an absolute freaking tank at the back who can out jump and out muscle. Almost any opponent, Koulibaly has held strong for Napoli in the Serie A last season and Senegal in the World Cup thanks to his outstanding 88 defending rating. Koulibaly gets the seal of approval. In at number uh, 54, we have Dries Martens, who has had a... stays the same rating. Obviously now 31 years old, but... Looks like a heavenly card, you know, a 90, 89 pace, with 90 dribbling, with 83 shooting, and 80 passing, and 4 star, 4 star, and high low work rate, and right footed, as a centre forward slash striker, this guy is going to be worth a, a freaking huge amount, he's insane, he was insane, thought my computer mouse was frozen. I thought my whole computer had frozen there. That would have been a disaster. But uh, equipped to play in the most attacking positions, Mertens has thrived since settling in a more central role, often deployed as a false nine. The Belgian has had an outstanding 90 dribbling rating and 89 pace, which constantly help him get into dangerous positions in the box. Mertens also has an 83 shooting and 80 passing rating, giving him the confidence to shoot if he has a chance or lay the ball off to a teammate. Mertens... Say love a pro goal. Let's go. 53. Mauro Icardi. Now, Icardi's a, a difficult card, okay? He's basically an SBC whore because who is going to want to use a striker? Not being funny, but he's 5'11, has 78 pace, 79 dribbling, 61 passing, medium low work rate. It's just a trash striker. I would never put this guy in my team. But uh, he says two times. Serie A uh, top goal scorer. Icardi is an insti in in instinctual finisher. A forward with a nose for goal. And who is efficient and accurate with both feet. As he is with his head. The Argentinian international's 85 shooting rating is by far his most notable number. But it seems sets him merely above all of his peers. Just check the record books. EA, yeah, this isn't real life, bro. Cut the guy some slack, man. His card looks trash. In a number <laughs> 52, we have Kayla Navas getting a plus two rating. And I feel sorry for Navas, man. Just worked his way, you know, around the Real Madrid fans' hearts. And they go and buy uh, Thibaut Courtois. And it reminds me of the year where Chelsea signed uh, Thibaut Courtois. And had Petr Cech. This is the same. Real Madrid have Keylor Navas. And Thibaut Courtois. Two world class goalkeepers. And his card looks pretty decent as well. Uh, one of the leading goalkeepers in Europe last season. Navas rarely puts a foot or hand wrong between the sticks. The Costa Rican's 90 diving stops even those accurate of shots out of the corners. While his 90 reflexes making him excellent stopping penalties. And point, back shot, point blank shot on goal. 87, the man, the myth, the legend, the pacey striker in the Premier League, I believe. Don't hold me to that, but I think he is. 
will be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, 29 years of age, 94 pace, 84 shooting, 80 dribbling, 70 physical, 4 star, 4 star, 6 2, right footed. To have a 6 foot 2 striker with 94 pace, this guy is going to be a meta card. After thriving in League 1 and in the Bundesliga, Obama Yang took his talents to the English Premier League and Arsenal last season. In a short time, in his short time in England, sorry, he's already shown off his skills that make him such a valuable target for the London club, including his blistering 84 shooting and 94 pace. The guy looks insane. Iniesta is going to be a very interesting car because it's a Spanish player in a league that isn't the top five. And I think this guy's price, very similar to Pepe, could be very, very, very good. And I'd definitely be interested in investing in this guy if you're into that. The videos you're going to see on my channel for FIFA, for FIFA 19, I'm going to have a video on that after. Might include it in the first demo video, but um, it is probably going to be mainly Road to Glory. We'll start off with the, the journey. We'll do the Road to Glory. And then we will do... We'll have some trading videos, but I'm not going to be like a super trader. Because I don't really have the time or patience to do that. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. But Iniesta still looks like a very solid central midfielder. And EA have to say this. The true legend Iniesta made the headlines this summer for his move from the one only professional club he's ever known. FC Barcelona. To a new challenge with the Japanese club, club Vissel Kobe. The midfielder's trophy cabinet is bursting with honours. From a World Cup winner's medal to four UEFA Champions League titles, Iniesta's technique and 87 passing rating means he's, one of the, he's among the world's finest. Few players can even come close to his talent with the ball at his feet. Iniesta, a true legend of football, it's great to see him still playing somewhere. Not at Barcelona, but at least he's still getting his football in. And we do have a Barcelona player then. We have Jordi Alba, 87 rated. His card looks very, very good. What can you say? It looks like a fantastic left back. Um, perhaps the ideal fullback in a system like Barcelona's. Alba has been dominating the left-hand side of his club's defence and often midfield and attack for quite a few seasons now. The Spaniards 93 pace and 83 dribbling will let him shuttle up the flank with the ball, beat opponents, firing across or pass to a teammate, then run back to defend without skipping a beat. Jordi Alba, I remember him in the World Cup mode. Oh, he's fantastic. And he's fantastic in Ultimate Team too. 48, we have Jan Vertonghen, a massive upgrade for my boy Jan Vertonghen, man. He was at 84, was he 84 or 85 last year? I think he might have been 85. Or an 84. And now he's up to an 87. And well deservedly. Looks like a fantastic centre-back. I love the Tongan. I would 100% be looking to get him into my team. Uh, the big Belgian centre-back is the cog that keeps Tottenham Hotspur's defence running smoothly. As he uses all aspects of his 88 defending rating to lead his teammates. Mark attackers, tackle the ball away and win aerial duels at every opportunity. 47. We're going with... Making good progress today with these. Samuel Umtiti. Oh, the pace, the dribbling, the passing, the shooting, the defending, the physical, the medium high, the six foot, the left foot. Oh, he looks fantastic, Danny Umtiti, man. The household name after he scored the winning goal for France in their 2018 semi -cup, uh, World Cup semi final against Belgium. Umtiti combines youthful exuberance with defensive proficiency. Rarely seen in younger players. His 88 defending covers intelligent reading of the game, perfectly timed tackling and unfailing commitment to keeping the ball out of the team's net. Um, Titi is also no sloth or slouch in the strength department. His 82 physical rating is obvious in the ease with which he knocks attackers out of the way, shields the ball when necessary and he flies in the air. To win headers. They seem to love Sam Adam Titi. Uh, 46. Oh, we just exposed the next one. 46, Mark Hamsik. Looks like a great box-to-box -box midfielder. Five-star weak foot. Looks fantastic statistically. 
Uh, possibly the greatest Slovak to ever take the pitch. Hamšík has become a hero at Napoli after making nearly 400 appearances over more than a decade with the Italian club. He is well -rounded. His well-rounded skill set has helped him adapt to just about any situation. But the playmaker's current role in the heart of Napoli's midfield is powered by his 84 dribbling and 84 passing ratings. Hamšík's strengths don't end with his creative brilliance. He's also a capable finisher in open play and from set pieces. Hamšík looks fantastic. I'll tell you what guys, these videos make your mouth so dry talking this much for the whole video about taking a break. At number 45, we have a plus one upgrade to Mr. Romelu Lukaku. A four star weak foot, three star skill moves, medium, medium, left foot. Obviously, six foot three, 84 pace, 84 shooting, 87 physical, decent passing and dribbling. Makes Lukaku a very good target man who can also run with the ball. And at first glance, the Belgian missing the prime example is a is the prime example of a traditional striker. Tall, strong, capable of brilliant finishing. Lukaku has earned himself a pay place in the game's elite by combining his traditional forwards qualities with an 84 pace rating, meaning that he is, he's as likely to leave a defender in the dust as he is to muscle him off the ball. This is a rare combination in today's game and explains the Belgian strong, consistent scoring numbers for both club and country. 44 then, we have uh, the same rating for Ivan Rakitic. Uh, didn't go up, didn't go down, but... Still looks fantastic in the in the game. I've always been a fan of Rakitic as well. You know, I think he's a decent player. Uh, Rakitic has had a brilliant World Cup for Croatia, building on his already ex excellent reputation at Barcelona over the last couple of seasons. His 87 passing and 82 dribbling ratings keep him at the top of the midfield game, spraying passes around the pitch and beating opponents with technique and skill. When given the opportunity, he can really lash the ball towards... The goal with an 84 shooting rating. I think he would make a pretty decent centre mid or cam, really, if you just up that pace a little bit. But uh, in at number 43, we have Mr. Jad PK. Uh, the pace is taking a tumble, but that's probably because of his age. Still has. I wouldn't go for him personally because of this. I don't really value that in a defender too much. But um, another living legend who has wrapped up countless awards at Barcelona and Spain. PK combines height and strength with world-class defending ability. Still in the prime of his career, PK excels in the air on both sides of the ball, thanks to his 76 physical rating and his 87 defending rating. Includes solid leadership ability, intelligent tackling, and calm composure even in the toughest of matches. PK looks very solid once again. And this is an interesting one. In at number 42, we have the fastest guy. It's been confirmed. The fastest man stock on the game, Kylian Mbappe. This guy, even the French league, is going to be worth four, five hundred k in the first couple of weeks. Not even twenty years old yet. Eighty-seven rated. The future star of the next generation of footballers. Four star, five star, high medium, right footed, five ten. I'd love to get my hands on him, man. As if a commanding. Uh, Ziff commanding a massive transfer fee as the teenager as a teenager wasn't enough, and Mbappe showed off what PSG saw in him last season and during the 2018 World Cup. The winger has had a very good tournament overall, but he capped it off with a brilliant goal in the final against Croatia to become only the second teenager to score in a World Cup final after Pele. Mbappe never hesitates to show off his 96 pace and 89 dribbling ratings. Bombarding the right wing every chance he gets. Bappe, fantastic card. And at number 41, we have... It's official. We have 41 stock cards already in the game. They're going to be 88 overall higher. That is absolutely insane. But um, I love Thiago Silva in FIFA, man. The pace, the passing, the dribbling, the defending, and the physical. With the high high, he's just fantastic. He's getting on a bit now. You know, he's, what, 34? But... A fortress in the PSG defence. The Brazilian captains the French club with consistency, intensity, and exceptional skill. Silva is one of the most central, is one of the most complete central defenders in the world. A football able to create chances and move up the pitch without sacrificing his tackling, organisation, and other defensive responsibilities. Take a breath. Take a drink. 
because that, ladies and gentlemen, does conclude this video. We have got only 40 players left to go. Who is going to take that top spot? Will it be Ronaldo? Will it be Messi? Will they be the same overall? Maybe you've seen a leak. If you have, I won't lie. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But if you have, don't tell anyone in the comments. Just let them, we can work it out together. Yes, my videos won't be up there with quality or up there in front of everyone else's, but this is where the FIFA 19 content consistently is going to be this year. And I would love it if you could make sure at the end of each video you can hit the like button, make sure you're subbed, make sure you've got notifications on, and tell your friends if they like FIFA 19, they like the Road to Glory style, then we're going to be doing that over on this channel this year solely. But thank you very much for watching this video then, guys. If you enjoyed, as I said, leave a like, make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment and share. You don't have to share the video, but make sure you've got notifications on as well. I've been David, this has been more FIFA 19 player ratings, hopefully you all enjoyed. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.